Hello everyone, myself uh, Nitin Haraj, Assistant Professor, Department of Computer Science and Engineering, KG Institute of uh, Engineering and Technology, Mangalore. So I'm going to discuss uh, about uh, computer graphics and uh, visualization subjects for module 3, uh, chapter 10, Error Detection and Correction. In my previous video, I was uh, discussing about uh, PRC encoder and uh, decoder, that uh, is cyclic uh, redundancy check uh, encoder and uh, decoder. So now, uh, as a continuation of it, I'm going to discuss about uh, PRC using polynomials. So the same uh, division. Uh, Things how it goes with the polynomials, so we'll just uh, discuss about it. So, uh, we know we can use a polynomial to represent a binary word. So, we know that uh, we can represent a binary word using polynomial. And uh, each bit in a polynomial from right to left is mapped onto a power term. So each bit from right to left is mapped onto a power term. The rightmost bit represents the zero power, and the bit next to it is one, that is the power term, and so on. So if the bit is of value zero, the power term is deleted from the expression. So you have to note this. If the bit is of value 0, so if you are having a bit with value 0, the power term is deleted from the expression. Power term is deleted from the expression. We will see how it is. So, if you look at this, uh, uh, this is what has been said. You have these are the bits so a0, 1, 2, 3, so on up to 6, and uh, this is the bit 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. Okay, so you have this uh, first bit as 1, so 1 is the x bar 0, so you start with the power term, you start with 0, so x bar 0, x bar 1, x bar 2, x bar 3, x x bar 6 in this case because it is a 6 bit uh, there are 7 bits here ok now uh, we can have a look here 1 into x bar 0 here also are having 1 so 1 into x bar 1 0 into x bar 2 0 into x bar 3 0 into x bar 4 0 into x bar 5 1 into x bar 6. So if you look at this, uh, we have 1 here, 1 into x bar 6, and then 1 into x bar 1, which is nothing but x, and up here we have 1 into x bar 0, which is nothing but 1. So this complete thing, if you look at this, we can rewrite it in a short form like this. That is x bar 6 plus x bar plus it is x plus 1. Okay, so this is the first bit, so it is 1. Alright, so this is the short form of the presentation of the polynomial of a binary one. Okay, so here uh, uh, in the encoder part, again we will perform the division using polynomials will perform using polynomials okay uh, so we have the data word here x bar 3 plus 1 x to the power 3 plus 1 uh, so since it is a polynomial we have a different kind of approach for this uh, we are not going to augment any uh, bit here, but rather what we do is, uh, given the divisor here, x 
power 3 plus x plus 1. We take this highest part that is x power 3. That will be multiplied with the data width. So what are we going to get? So we will get x power 3 into x power 3 which is x power 6 x power 3 into 1 that is x power 6. Okay. So this is what we are going to get as the data word in the dividend. Okay. So they are very given. So I will tell you once again how do we find the dividend here. We are not going to append any n minus 1 but in case of polynomial as we have done it in CRT and corner equated. Here what we are going to do is we are going to multiply the highest power of the divisor with the data value and that we get it as the division here. Okay. Next. So how to start it? How did we get it? You know that uh, uh, here in the dividend now uh, we have x power 6. Okay, so this x power 6 divided by the highest power in the divider that is x power 3. So x power 6 by x power 3 we get it as x power 3 in the portion. So we get x power 3 in the portion. Now start multiplying and get this. x power 3 into x power 3, we get it as x power 6. x power 3 into x, we are going to get it as x power 4. So uh, we will multiply this uh, portion here with the divider. So x power 3 into x power 3, we are going to get x power 6 x power 3 into x we are going to get x power 4 x power 3 1 we are going to get x power 3 now what we are supposed to do is we just uh, uh, cancel this x power 6 and x power 3 so what we get is only x power 4 ok so what is the next step follow the same procedure that is x power 4 divided by x power 3 I will get it as x that will make it as the quotient ok then start multiplying this quotient and divide it and get the value so x into x power 3 we get it as x power 4 then x into x we are going to to get x power 2 then again x into 1 we are going to get it as x so after this this term uh, x power 4 and x power 4 will be cancelled then we will get it as x power 2 plus x which we get it as the remainder so we have the data word as x bar 3 plus 1 and so which will be multiplied with the various powers of the divider. So we are going to get this as x bar 6 plus x bar 3. So x bar 6 plus x bar 3 will be the data word and append that with the uh, remainder that is x power 2 plus x ok so this becomes the code word for the uh, code word ok uh, that is using polynomial now uh, what this is in the sender then that is in the encoder part next step um, how this works with the uh, receiver. So for the receiver end, you will have this something thing as the code word. Okay. 
and the divisor will be the same and you will have to uh, start uh, dividing ok I will just give you a minute of time so that you can just look into it how uh, you can divide the thing and what will be that uh, remainder you are going to get follow the same procedure we will give you one minute of time uh, just do it then I will discuss how it is to be done alright so take your time take a, a paper and pen just work it out so that you are going to get as the remainder ok and again you can decide if you can accept the code word or the data word or reject the data word again it's purely based on the remainder that you are going to get in the decoder end ok just take your time start working uh, and we'll see uh, what remainder you are going to get just take one minute of time You will have in the, you will be having the code word and the divisor is same. You have to follow the same process how you find the code. Find the code and then follow the same thing and multiply the code. I think I have given a sufficient time so uh, we will see how to go with this in the decoder part so if you look at this uh, we are having the this x bar 6 plus x bar 3 plus x bar 3 x x bar 3 x the code was and x bar 3 plus x bar 1 uh, is the uh, Divided, okay. So we'll follow the same procedure. So x bar six divided by x bar three, so we get it as x bar three. So that would be the portion. So multiply the portion here. X bar three into x bar three is equal to x bar six plus x bar three into x. So we are going to get it as x bar four plus x bar three into one, which is x bar. 3. So, x bar 6 gets cancelled, x bar 3 gets cancelled, so we will have x bar 4 here plus x bar 2 plus x. Now, again, uh, check uh, what should be the quotient. So, we have x bar 4 here. So, x bar 4 divided by x bar 3, we get it as x. So, x will be the quotient. Start multiplying with the divisor. So, x into x bar 3 you get it as x bar 4 here okay x into x bar 3 you are getting to uh, going to get x bar 4 and x into x you are going to get x bar 3 here x into 1 you are going to get x here so all the terms get cancelled and finally you get 0 which is the remainder so it states that if remainder is 0, then uh, 
well that means uh, uh, there will not be any bit altered in the message okay so this is how you uh, do with polynomials in crc uh, the division part in the encoder end as well as the division part in the decoder end so ultimately it depends on the receiver whether to accept the data word or not the remainder is zero accept the data word otherwise reject the data word okay so here the summary the devices in a cyclic code is normally called as the generated polynomial or simply the generator so in a cyclic code if s of x is not equal to zero if s of x is nothing but i can say it as a syndrome if it is not equal to zero then it says one or more bit is corrupted if s of x is equal to zero so there are two options uh, that is syndrome is zero then you can say no bit is corrupted no bit is corrupted or some bits might be corrupted but the decoder has the same bit detected okay so this is the summary so it is not directly that if syndrome is zero then we can or the s of x is zero then we cannot directly say that a hundred percent sure that it is not corrupted so there might be a chance uh, where uh, the message has been corrupted but uh, the decoder has failed to detect it okay so the next here we have some of uh, standard polynomials so you can see here uh, i have uh, crc8 uh, which has polynomial as x bar 8 plus x bar 2 plus x plus 1 Uh, uh, it is used for the APM header. So how is this look in a binary? So x bar eight is one. Then we have x bar seven, which is uh, a zero. Then we have x bar six, and that is a, a zero. And uh, x bar five again is a zero. X bar Four is also a zero. X bar three is also a zero. Then we have X bar two, which is one. X bar one is also one, and then the last first bit is also one. So we have it as one. So totally we have nine bits. So when it is converted to binary, it looks something like this. That is one zero zero. Zero 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 one 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 for the polynomial x bar eight plus x bar two plus x plus one. Similarly, you have CRT ten, CRT sixteen, CRT thirty two used for uh, different applications. Uh, that is CRT ten for APM AM and CRT sixteen for HPLC and CRT thirty two for LAN. Okay, so. That's all about the uh, uh, polynomials and the CRC. Uh, thanks for watching the video. I hope uh, you are clear with the CRC polynomials. Okay. Uh, thank you so much.